Ladies and gentlemen, today and only today, well, I don't know, maybe I'll come back and do more of this, but today I will be doing something completely brand new. So you've seen me opening Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball uh, trading cards, Pokemon trading cards, Digimon trading cards. I have yet to do Yu-Gi-Oh, but I, I'm planning maybe, hopefully, I don't know. But today, today we got something special. You've seen the thumbnail, you click, you know what you're getting into. The UFC Don Russ, Don Russ, but either way, Panini, Panini. That's what we're. That's what we. Well, that's what we know. The Panini trading cards or collectible cards. They're basically collectible cards of the UFC exclusively. Ninety possible cards, I guess, per box. We're looking for these. Okay, these are the the chase cards, I believe. Amanda Nunes. Yiri Prahaska, which is interesting that he is. Leon Edwards and Islam Makhachev, which, by the way, Islam just won. I, it, by the time you're watching this, it's not the same day, but he just beat Volkanovski in the rematch, head kicked him. So it'd be kind of crazy if we were able to pull him here. And for those that don't know, um, I am a huge UFC fan. I watch every event that I possibly can, even the smaller ones, if I'm slightly interested in uh, the the fights i will watch i will tune in i will be there no matter what and i always saw these at like the store and i always uh, uh thought it was interesting that people get into like trading like sports cards um and i know that sometimes sports cards can go up in price and value and things of that nature so i do know that sometimes maybe it's not a terrible thing to get into if you're a collector so um i just saw it there one it was a while ago i've been hoarding these for a minute and i always just was curious so here we are we're opening the box and uh i just out of curiosity i'm gonna see if i can get any of these exclusive cards that i they keep promoting on every pack look at that also these packs feel like cookie packs they're look at how thick they are compared Damn to regular boy, like, like i'm so used to like a regular booster pack for a trading card game like pokemon and dragon ball would never do this like that's that's an insane pack and there's what like one two three four five six of these and apparently there's 90 cards in total um, it's basically a booster box that we're opening. So without further ado, I am kind of slightly nervous. There's clearly not going to be a car trick to this. It's just going to be straight ahead and we're going, oh, okay. I think I saw, okay. I don't know how to open it, whether to look at them like, okay, I'm going to look at them like this. I saw who I got, we got in the back. So I don't, maybe I should flip it around. We got Khabib, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Smash. Look at that foil, foiled Khabib. I will take that. Not not bad i will take that that seems like a dub so it looks like the way you open it really will dictate whether what uh what you see on the back so it looks like the rare because if i were to open it like this okay we already know we got khabib this is khabib by the way lightweight goat um pass the torch to islam um so that's khabib we know we got him but if we were to open up the pack normally this it would be like this cub swanson first which by the way he's a featherweight um we have um who the heck is this I don't know this fighter, so um, if I don't know the fighters, then I guess I don't know them. But um, why is it upside down? They need to get this sorted out. What what the hell is going on? Okay, we have... Oh, okay. Um, Calvin Cater. He got absolutely schooled by Max Holloway. Um, uh, Michael Chandler. Not bad. Um, ooh. Uh, Yair. Uh, Yair. It's a Rosenstruf. I don't quite know why I messed that up. Um, we have Tisha Torres. I used to be a big fan of her. I'm... Well, I'm still a fan. Then we got her girlfriend, Raquel Pennington, back to back. Look at that. Look at that. Um, and then on this, we're going to get a, what is this? Who is this? Saeed Nurmagomedov. Saeed Nurmagomedov, which I believe he also just recently fought. We have a Volkanovsky. Alex the Great Volkanovsky. I am so sorry, buddy. He just got head kicked to oblivion. Um, we have a John Jones. Not not bad. Cool, cool, cool. We have a John Jones. We have a Jermaine Randame. She used to be a name, a household name. Um, we have a Damien, uh, uh, oh no, Dar Damir Ismagugov. I butchered that name completely. I don't think I need. Whoa! Wait! Whoa! 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 Hold the phone! Hold the phone! Hold the phone! Hold the phone! Tatsuro, Tatsuro Tyra, Tatsuro Tyra, that's cool. But then we got Amanda Nunes, Amanda Nunes. Oh my gosh, surely that's something. Surely that's something. Surely that's something, right? Or what is this? It's a three. It says it has like a three star on this corner. I don't know if that that like means anything. I don't know if that's like worth anything or if that's just like. Let me take a look at this card. Let me take a look at this card real quick, cause. 
Okay, just out of curiosity, I'm going to price check this Khabib and this Amanda Nunes just to see which one is like really this one just seems a little bit more special right because of the 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 way that they made the art there but this one also has a full foil on it and i don't think it has like any rarity or anything like that so just out of curiosity i'm gonna check real quick a few moments later okay upon further review i guess this card also comes non-foiled so like just like a regular card like this one so i'm assuming there's a chance of getting some of these cards um, whoa, this one's a rated rookie um, on the corner. I don't know what that means. I just literally noticed that from looking at that. And so I know that there's different foiling as well, like I was going to say. Um, so there's this one is like almost like I think the entry level foil. And then there's like the the um, the prism foil that pops out. Um, so we got the entry level purple card could be which is not worth too much. It's like a buck if if anything and then um clear and then we have the untouchable amanda nunez which i guess there's like an untouchable series in the in the donruss uh ufc cards um sets so we got one of them not worth too much um they're basically around the same price which kind of actually does make sense now that i'm looking now that i'm like looked at the pricing of it so we are really looking for the um Blaster exclusive laser parallel. So I guess there's like laser parallel. Like my fiance is literally just peeking out the door trying to. No max. She wants to know if I got a max Holloway. There's no max. Okay, we're gonna flip this over. I saw I saw Connor in the back. So there's, I'm wondering if there's like a special Connor card that's gonna be worth something. I don't know. Um, but Alexan. <laughs> oh look at this, Alexandre Pantoja, the new champ. The new uh, flyweight champ, which I don't think he should be. I think uh, Brandon Moreno, hot take. I think he beat him. Um, Kevin Holland, really cool fighter. I thought he was going to go somewhere. Um, still could, possibly. You know, you never know. Jack Shore, I don't really know much about him. Tatiana Suarez, I've seen her fight a few times. Um, we have another Cub Swanson. So there we go, our first double. Oh, another double of that dude. Um, oh, my goodness. Is this who I think it is? It's PJ Penn, ladies and gentlemen. The legend himself. The Hawaiian pride. Oh, uh, 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 aloha, uh, PJ. I totally ruined that. But um, uh, we have a Dan Ige. Dan Ige is really good of uh, a fighter, too. Um, Neil Magny. I was disappointed with this fight with Ian, Mag uh, Ian Machado. Um, Justin Gaethje. Not a not a bad card. I wouldn't be mad if I got Justin more Justin Gaethje's. Holly Holmes, uh, what a un, uh, what a what a picture they chose for her there, huh? Is this who I think it is? No, it's not. Uh, th this is an a Romanov. I believe he's a heavyweight. I could be wrong. Maybe light heavy. I don't quite remember. Okay, a Josh and Emmett. It's different than these. I don't quite know what the difference is here, but it's definitely different. It has like this the number S G J E M sign. Is this a signature card? Hold up. Oh. whoa whoa it is hold up whoa we got a signature card of josh emmett what does it say on the back it says this it says the autograph is guaranteed by panini america so a signature josh emmett surely this is something cool hope i wish we would have got this with the khabib card we just pulled man oh. but instead we got josh emmett which this would have been worth something if he beat yair and fought for the title uh, against volkanovsky but uh hey signature by josh emmett card that is really cool i'll go set that to the side over here surely that's worth more than those three we got a fantasy matchups daniel Cormier and tai tuivasa that would have been a cool matchup um it's just like a almost like a reverse thing that's not really okay oh look at this look at this this is cool hold up this is cool this is a connor kuna mcgregor um i know that accent was bad but connor mcgregor card octagon marvels that is cool surely this is worth something as well that is woo. okay upon review this seems to be the highest um costing card so far I out of all the rich. specially looking ones that i've gotten so far um this one i'm gonna be curious to see if this the price will go up because these, these these cards are 2023 so uh the price may go up on some of these i don't know but this one right now is the most expensive that i've pulled so far um i know that there are versions of it where hollow which i wish i would have put that um or i wish i would have pulled that but uh clearly we did not so um it is what it is hopefully i don't see what we get in the back of this one and um hopefully i can open this one correctly where i don't see okay 
Ooh, I did that correctly. Look at that. I did that correctly. Boom. I figured it out. Uh, so we have a Matthias Nicolau. Um, I believe this is one of Brandon Moreno's friends. Uh, they do a podcast together. I believe that's who it is. I don't know this fighter. Um, we have a Jan. Yes, Jan. Jan. Chris Weidman. Oh, my goodness. Remember when Chris Weidman was the man when he beat Anderson Silva? I remember. And everybody, thank you. And this is still my boy. I remember. Surely I re Is that Shogun Hua? Oh, my gosh, it is. I love Shogun Hua. He used to be one of my favorite fighters to watch. Love Shogun. Um, but we got a tie to Ivasa. Very cool. Rafael Dos Anjos used to be the man as well. Um, I don't know why I keep they keep doing this with the cards. I have to flip them over constantly. Juliana Pena. Now, people either like or completely hate this woman. <laughs> oh, we got uh, uh, Tracy Cortez. Uh, Brian T-City's ex. Okay. Oh, but speaking of right, <laughs> the coincidence there. That's crazy. Oh, Alexa Grasso. They should have an Alexa Grasso card that is her. Oh, that would be sick. I might put Alexa Grasso on the side anytime there's a Mexicano. You know, that was just going to go into a special, special um, pile. Yuri Prohaska, we're looking for the uh, uh, the better version of you. Uh, Valentina Shevchenko, speaking of Alexa Grasso, she beat that woman like twice. Crunch time, look at that. Kamaru Usman, he just recently fought um, Hamzat Chimaev, lost, but did a really good job of... Um, uh, I don't know how I feel about these cards. They're all like different. Like this one's supposed to be like a cereal box. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. It's kind of cool. It's kind of neat, but I don't know. This one is Dan Murgliata. So we have one of the referees and there he goes. It's an authority of the octagon card. Very cool. I d highly doubt that it's more than any of the other cards I pulled, but cool. Nonetheless, I will actually put that right there. Our pile is getting bigger let's keep going let's keep going let's see if i can pull any more mexicanos tracy cortez i actually pulled i don't know why i didn't put her set her to the side but it is what it is um i did not do that i will sort that out later but right now we have another calvin cater we have yet to pull max holloway my fiance is going to be really sad michael chandler Ooh, uh rosen strike again tisha torres this looks very oddly similar to another pack that we opened yeah this looks very similar very similar to another pack that we opened. Oh, wow. A classic. A OG of the game. Tito Ortiz. Oh, wow. I remember watching him fight. That was um, that was some time, man. But UFC used to be... Used to be... Uh, well, it, I, I don't know. I feel like UFC is so, like, new. Uh, another Josh Emmett. That it's like, you know... It rose to the popularity so fast. That even, like, the old fights seem, like still cool oh look it's a uh, 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 a rated rookie it's raul rosas jr uh a mexicano so i will set you to the side and uh he wanted to make a tear wanted to make a name for himself but uh wasn't quite there all completely oh whoa, look at this a retro series so it's a retro looking card of khabib nergamagamed oh wow this is cool okay Okay, it's a retro card. Khabib Nurmagomedov, that's cool. I'll set you over here with the other Khabib. And then oh, Volkanovski, oh, 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 the oh, oh. Untouchables. Another Untouchable card set to for our Untouchable collection, this time of Alexander Volkanovski. Oh, cool, 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 cool. We'll set that on. Uh, sorry, Amanda Nunez. I will have to cover you up for now. Sad to say that we only have two packs left to open. This has been really fun. I wouldn't mind opening more uh, UFC cards. If uh, permitted, uh, you guys let me know. Hopefully the reception on this video is not terrible. This is different. I'm going a little bit against the grain. I do love you watching UFC MMA. I follow MMA a lot. Um, and so uh, really enjoy um, being able to sort of bring in one of my hobbies with uh, like a sport that I love. So, <laughs> um, oh, look, Hamzat Chemaev just beat Usman. Um, I do think that Hamzat Chemaev He's going to need to work on his gas tank. That That's going to be a little rough of a, of a thing to wear. Look at this. Cyril Gain. I was so disappointed with Cyril Gain when he fought John Jones, bro. When he fought John Jones, I was so disappointed. I had so many high hopes for him. Amanda Nunes. We have a uh, Kai Kata France. 
man, I never been more happy to see a man lose than when he fought Brandon Moreno. <laughs> I, I, great, great guy though. I'm sure Jan Blahovich. Nice, yeah, nice Jan Blahovich. Um, oh wow, do you guys remember Derek Brunson? Y'all remember Derek Brunson? The standing. If you know, you know, you know, <laughs> you know. If you know, if you know. Derek Brunson, Bilal Muhammad. This man is yearning for a title shot. Somebody give it to him. Martin, the Italian, Vittori. We don't know if he's Italian or not. Michael Bisbean, legend of the game. Legend of the game. Tim Means, another legend of the game. Oh, look, the guy that everybody likes to hate, Colby Covington. He's going to fight Leon Edwards, um, and I don't know how the fight's going to go. I really don't. Um Alexander Ravik, I believe that's his name. I, I don't know why I got puzzled there, but I did. Oh, wow. Look at this. Look at this. A uh, stair masters. Derek Lewis stair master. So it's just his face off face, I guess. I'm not going to lie. This would be a co cooler if this was like, if you can take a look at that, that's very pixelated. <laughs> it would be really cool if it wasn't, but it is what it is. I love Derek Lewis, though. I'll keep that in mind, I guess. I, I'm sure it's not worth too much. Johnny Walker. Is this another signed card? No, but it's it's a um uh, one of the prisms fo foils. Look at that. See, this is the kind of foiling I wish I got with the Khabib card. But we got it here with Johnny Walker. Johnny Walker actually just got into a fight here in the uh, Islam card where Islam knocked out Volk. And it was a, um, a no contest because he got in illegally need to the face, I believe. I don't quite remember. Um, but by Ankalaev. And that was such a it was such a weird thing to watch. That car, like, it's just such a weird vibe. He wanted to fight, clearly wanted to fight, and they didn't really let him fight. So cool to see that foiling because I, I talked about it, but we didn't see it, and now we saw it. So I wish we got that with Khabib. We did get Khabib twice. I wonder if we can get another Connor to balance that out. <laughs> Surely, right? Still no sight of Max Holloway. Again, my fiance is not going to be happy about it. What it is. I, I, I think I saw what was in the back, and I believe it's an Alexander Volker. Leon Edwards. Don't let him bully you, son. Don't let him bully you. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. Look at Jamal Hill. This looks like before he became champ, too. Who would have thought Jamal Hill was going to be champ? Jamal Hill did. <laughs> we got another. Uh, uh, who is this? Andrea Lee. I'm so sorry that I didn't know who you were. Oh, you were. Okay. Mike Brown. Coaching legend now. Francis Ngannou. Um, deciding to go fight Tyson Fury. Good luck, my friend. Uh, oh, wow. Chan Sun Jun, the Korean zombie. Zombie. I don't want to get copyright, but oh, what a legend. What a legend. Best. One of the best. Oh, look here. This is the this is the card we pulled, but it's not foiled at all. Just a regular Khabib. But we pulled it. You guys saw it with like earlier with the purple foil. So um, that was there. TJ Dillashaw, man. What a fall from grace. What a fall from grace for TJ. Look, here's the other card. Here's the regular version of this one. Wow, De this one definitely looks like nothing compared to that other card. <laughs> okay, we have a uh, fighter, Vivienne. Vivienne, I believe that's her name. Um, okay, nice, nice. Okay, Misha Tate. Man, I remember when Misha Tate was a household name. I remember that. Those were the days. We have a, a Marvin, Marcin Tybura. I hope I didn't ruin that. And then we have a, is this Valentina? Look at that. A donation card. Donations. A Valentina Shevchenko. And then, um, yeah. a dona do Dominators. My bad. I, I thought that said donations. I look stupid now. A Dominators card of Valentina Shevchenko. This card don't hit the same now that um, Alexa Grasso is the champ. So if we would have gotten Alexa, I would have been a little bit more cool, uh, excited. But I'll put this one to the side. This one seems kind of cool. And then a crunch time card. I saw it was foiled, and it is of. Oh no! I'm happy! I'm happy, Poetan! 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 <laughs> it is Alex! It is Alex! It is him! The man that Izzy fears every night. No, no, no diss on Izzy, Izzy, Izzy. I, 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 you know, I was writing it with Izzy when he first came to the UFC, but, um,. When Pejera came to the UFC, we all knew what was up. That fight needed to happen. And the fact that we got to see it twice, um, shout out to Izzy for getting the revenge the second time. That Well, it was technically the third time, a fourth time around, kind of. Fourth time the charm, I guess, um, because they fought in kickboxing prior. 
um, and Alex got the better of him. And so, wow, this man is actually uh, right now rushing. Like, he's speed running the UFC, like dead ass speed running, um, because he became middleweight champion so fast. Um, and right now, he's about to fight for the light heavyweight championship of the world. And if he becomes light heavyweight champion, like, who else can say that they speed ran the UFC? Like, he became middleweight champion, moved up, became light heavyweight champion, could possibly go back down and win the middleweight championship, be a double champ as well, and retire. Could even possibly go to heavyweight and win. I don't know. Alex Poetan Pejero, though, is a living legend, speed running the sport. You'd love to see it. Crunch time card. I actually really like this one. I don't care if this one's not valued as much as the other ones, but I am happy with that. And that will do it. Those are the cards that we pulled for this UFC box. Not too bad. Um, I quite enjoyed it. You guys let me know if you guys did too. This is different, like I said, different type of content. Um, if you guys want to see more UFC-esque type of content, let me know as well. Head to my website, revxr.com, revoart.com. Become a member to help your boy out. Um, it, it, you get exclusive content also. Like, I'm not, it's, it's not expensive to do either. So, or just send a donation. Go to revoart.com. You can send a donation either, or you can help me out there. Help me, help the channel grow. Help me scale up. But for now, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you guys next time.